As the quantities increase in value, the emphasis is still on using concrete objects and pictorial representations to compose and decompose quantities. Linking cubes, along with recording sheets, are an appropriate instructional approach. Two-color counters, along with 10 frames and part-part whole mats, are other tools that are appropriate. Students should begin to recognize that quantities may be composed and decomposed in a variety of ways. Equations with the addition and equal to symbols are not introduced yet in this unit. And as a reminder, students should recognize that a number can be composed of zero and itself. Number bonds are a tool that can be used to represent how numbers can be composed and decomposed. Two circles represent the parts and another larger circle represents the whole. Number bonds can be oriented in various ways. Students should understand the relationship between the parts and the whole regardless of orientation. How can five be decomposed using a number bond? Five is decomposed into two parts, one and four. Five could also be decomposed into two parts, three and two, etc. How can a number be composed using a number bond? Three counters are in one part of the number bond. Four counters are in another part of the number bond. Say part, part, whole, or three and four make seven. Students should begin to recognize that the composed parts may be in any order. Four and three make seven.